okay now we need to uh, along with the standard task we need to activate the work related task also now this is a two step process okay the first step is in pftc uh, where we assign what we did for standard task right so we assign general uh, ta task for all of those you know tasks we do the same thing for the uh, workflow tasks also but uh, in workflows for a workflow tasks we also have to activate them in swdd so let us see how do we do that so so we have about seven or eight workflow related tasks that we need to activate in pftc so let's go to pftc first okay so p pf tc and then you from this drop down box select workflow template and then enter your workflow task number the first one is 5763 triple zero and then five six okay now let's do the same steps that we did with standard tasks okay so click on additional data change assignment and maintain select the task say attribute say general task transfer go back save now you do the next one that you have is 82 okay change go to additional data agent assignment maintain and general task okay save okay and the next one that you have is 84 okay seven six three triple zero eighty four additional data change assignment maintain attributes general task transfer okay save okay so now the next one is 85 okay let's go what we have listed here so 88 hit the enter key change additional data maintain attributes and then general task go back save okay 88 is done then you have 85 click on change agent assignment maintain For every entry that you change, save in the end, okay? So, so that we, the entry changes are recorded. So the steps are the same here, okay? So I'm just not repeating, saying it. Okay, then you have 80. You also read the description of each of these tasks and then you understand why what we are doing this for okay save it and go out the next one is 89 go additional data assignment maintain attributes general task go back save and then you have uh, two more after this so next one we have is 87 
maybe I should have sorted the numbers, you know. Anyways, we are then agent assignment maintain and then. save it and we have the last one is 86 change ah, sorry. so go to additional data maintain general task okay so after you have assigned general task to all of this work for related uh, templates the next step is to go and activate them in SWDD transaction code. Okay, go to SWDD and in the workflow box, okay, let's go and enter 7600 okay. 763000 okay now it's already active so in case it's not active you just go and say activate Okay, and if it's going to ask you to put it in a transport request, just create a transport request. Activation. Okay, now, now you do this the same thing of this activation for all the tasks that we activated right let's go in the same sequence that we activated 82 everything is active so just anyway activate it okay just enter the workflow template number workflow template task number and then click on activate and put it in a transport request Okay, now we have 88. Okay, I'm going to put that. Okay, 85. So you make a note of these numbers, okay, by, from the video when you watch it because this are available in some OSS note but if you want to if you are going through this entire video then you might as well want to note down the numbers anyways if you don't have them so next one is 80 okay I'm just activating everything Oh, all the workflow templates that we did in PFTC. Okay. So next one is 89. It is next one is 87. Activate this. I should not have gone out as WDD. And the last one that we had was 86. Okay, so click on activate. All right, so once we have, now we have activated the workflow templates, okay? Now, All right. 
So we have activated the workflow templates. Okay, so we are, the next step that we need to do is if you are using crystal reports, we need to set some setting for that. And if you're not using crystal reports, then because we are going to we are going to use GRC 12 supports Fury, uh, GRC has introduced a new uh, view, uh, access report view type in access and risk analysis, uh, which is remediation view. And remediation view needs uh, old data service that needs to be activated. Okay, so we are not going to work with crystal report, so I'm not going to, I'll just show you in the next video where that step is, and then we'll go and activate the old data service for remediation view, okay?